Okay, so where do you go from here? So if you're watching this uh, third video for the random number activity game um, that you're creating in PHP, here's where you should be. So you should you have uh, a project in Peach. You have a project in Eclipse started. So here's the project navigator. You can see that you have a class folder and you have two classes in here. You have a game. You have a game uh, kind of a main program page. The main program page. Um, includes or links to each one of these classes okay so you hear that in the main program page you see it what I have highlighted here is these are the includes which include the two classes inside the classes okay we have basically nothing and inside here we have a simple echo guessing game and what what you should have as well is in your um, in your index page yours is going to look much different than mine you have a link to it and then you could run that through a web browser. So your web browser is pointed to http colon four four slash localhost. Okay. It's gonna bring up this page here and when you click on it, okay, you have guessing game. So now you know that uh uh you know that uh it works. Okay, there's no errors, it's linked to your page, okay, and you can see your, your files here. So where do we go so where do we go from here? Well uh, the next step is probably to uh, get started with the game. Now, um, now what you need to do from here, and what, how this video is going to be different from the rest, is I'm not going to walk you through how to do it. I'm going to I'm going to show you that you already have the tools you need to get to the next part, and you need to combine what you've done before in this class with uh, what you need to do. And it's not as simple as copying and pasting. Okay, I did this on purpose, obviously. Now, what we need to do next. It, the next step in this process is uh, to get a form. Okay, so we need to input some data, and then we need to process that data, and then output something. All right. So in this case here, we're creating a random number game in PHP. We need to input some data. Uh, we need to compare it to the random number, and we we ask, well, is it the same as a random number? And the answer is yes. Then the game's over. The person wins. If it's no, then the person gets a guess again. So before we do the whole random number thing, as a very basic thing, we need to be able to get some in, uh, display an HTML form, obtain some input, okay, and then be able to spit it back at the screen. And then once we get that working, then we can get the whole um, guessing game or random number guess number. We can get all that stuff working. So, like I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lead you by the nose on how to do it. But what I will show you is you remember a while ago <coughs> we have uh we did uh we did hello world input this is back a few months ago when we did um uh when we, where we have basically an uh we echoed okay we printed an html form to the screen okay we obtained uh we obtained a number all right so input a number we obtained the number into uh a variable Okay, and then what we did is we called we called the same file, all right, and then what happened is we used that number here, okay, we used that number here to loop hello world a certain number of times. So here we have a working example of a, a working form, okay, inputting some data. And then we're going to call the same file, and we're we are going to uh, use this data, okay, to to uh, to loop hello world PHP. So if you don't remember, it look it looks something like this. All right. So input a number five, submit, and uh, output hello world five times. Okay. So one hundred. Output hello. So uh, now you have an example of a working form. Now the difference is exactly what's different. I mean like you know we want to enter a number and we want to use a number not to loop it a certain number of times but we want, we want to use a number to compare it with another number. Is it really that different? Well what is different is this we're not using object-oriented programming here. Okay, This is not object-oriented programming. But um, we have another example uh, where we did use object-oriented programming to do uh, hello world um, to do a very basic hello world program all right so here is my index file and you can see that it it links to my um, hello world.php class and this is the class 
Okay, so class starts here, starts here, and the class ends here. The class includes one behavior or one function as stated here. This function is uh, is a uh, is called display hw and requires the following parameters or arguments, okay, loop, color, and color2. Um, and from here, this is the algorithm that is associated with this with this behavior. Okay, so here we have a working class where we declare uh, we, uh, we declare a new object called object one, a new object called object two, and we use object two to call the uh, behavior with the following parameters. We use object one to call the behavior with the following parameters. Okay, so here we have a working class but no form. Okay, here we have a form but no class, and somehow uh, we have a form, but it's not an object oriented program. So somehow you need to combine what you did here with what you did here to what I'm asking you to do here. All right, with the random number game. So your um, so what I'm looking at basically is um, what I'm hoping to see from you guys is your ability to combine that uh, yeah, to make that combination. Okay. So the answer is right in front of you, uh, but the question is how exactly do you do it? Well. Uh, that is as, as many hints as I want to give you. Good luck.